Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is it good? Yes, it's good. Well, it uh, goes to, to uh, say that in this day and time, that message that y'all gave us a month or two ago to record, I could hear that that uh, that in my spirit, get this out, get this out now. And uh, everyone just kind of came together and we got it out. Why? Because it is true to what Yah's word is all about for his people. And we are in the second, getting ready for the second exodus. And this is a message to this generation. So I pray that our people understand it even more so than the world. We don't expect the world to understand. But the main thing is remember, Pharaoh, he didn't understand. He just thought these, these people were, you know, talking and there's a lot of gods. And he had plenty more than they did and, until uh, their God spoke. Hallelujah. Mm. And I, I don't know. I know you see what's going on in the world, whether it's here in the United States of Egypt or, or in the Europe or uh, northern, southern Americas or islands or uh, in Africa for sure. Yah is talking loudly. Uh, Asia, Middle East, he's talking. and uh, But we want to make sure our people hear and know what he is, what he's about, what he's doing. And that we are getting ready to leave here. We must understand that. Get this word in you. And this word is your flashlight. It's going to take you places and show you where you can walk and step. And not get caught in traps of men. Where you can walk and know that it's a sure fo footing, a sure foundation. And so that's why we're here. To call you in the four corners of this earth that have been designated as his elect. Listen, learn, so we can walk, so we can know our Yah. We have been destitute of knowing him, but now he has come nigh. And while he is doing judgment, he is also introducing himself yeah. as the long lost father, hallelujah, hallelujah, that we had lost sight of, hallelujah, for the ancestors and breaking covenant. But now we have repented, we're home again, and now we see. We're going to sit back and look at the destruction, and we're going to understand what it is and why it is, and not worry or be afraid, but know your Father is showing out for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He loves you. Hallelujah. He's seen your struggle. He's seen the sorrow. He knows the bitterness. Yes, he did put us under a curse, but we're not under the curse. Ooh, and they added to the curse. Oh, so he's got to take care of them. As he has every oppressor that has ever oppressed us, even we deserved it. He's always come and judged them. So now is judgment. Not tomorrow, now. And uh, as I'm sitting talking to you, I'm on the West Coast, and there is a storm outside called Hillary. Ah, oh, glory! Ah. But I thank y'all that there, there's no fear, there's no concern for us. We know that we're in the hands of the Most High Yah. Yes. And uh, yeah. we can uh, know that, relax, take it easy, knowing that uh, our Father has us and we're not worried. So if you see a little shock or go through the room or something, it's just our Father waving and saying, hello. Hey. <laughs> we just have a little piece of light that bought that. It's just saying hello. Okay. <laughs> and uh, tell you he loves you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. We're going to get... Uh, into um, our scripture today in Jeremiah. So just have it ready for you uh, to go to Jeremiah 6 and open your Bibles. Get ready. And we're going to, at this time, worship. And uh, my dear husband, Elder Waiters, is going to lead us into that worship. And all of us here will join in. You all out there, join in with us in your own way. It Thank y'all. Yes, mercy. Yes, it's mercy. Yeah. We're living because of his mercy. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, 
love you. We love you. Yeah. Yeah, we love you. Yeah, we love you. Yeah, we love you.
to bring our attention squarely on you. To thank you for all you do and have done and what you're going to do in our time. Because you're outside of time and you let us in on time. What you're doing in this time and what you're doing tomorrow. Thanking you for your love, the concern you have and show, the provision you give, for the love you share in our hearts, all of these wonderful blessings. To know you is the greatest of all blessings. There is no material thing that can take the place of knowing you. There is no degree, no pedigree, no educational degree. There is nothing and no one that can, that can reward us like knowing you can. Mm -hmm. To be able to commune with the very creator of the heavens and earth, the very one that said, let there be light, and there was light. The very one we read about in the pages of the scriptures. The words of life that you have shared with man from the very beginning. We're able now to absorb it, to, to receive it, to apply it to our daily lives. We're able now to see the benefit of obedience to your word. What a wonderful day this is. We're even able now to see the prophecies of old come to pass yes. before our very eyes. Yes. Hallelujah on a daily basis. <laughs> it is changing yes. how we operate, how we think, how, how we act. <clears throat> Something so awesome that it's difficult to put into words. But Father, understand as you do our hearts. Touch your children here and in the four corners, throughout the four corners of this earth. It is Spiria. Touch right now. Those that are lost are found. Those that are blind can see. Those that were deaf can now hear the word of the Most High God. Your word is our bond. We are bound to you by your word, by your blood, and by your spirit. Thanking you, Father, for each one that is in the sound of my voice, each one that is truly calling on your name to know you, Fill them, Father, with your wisdom, your knowledge, as only you can do. We want to be closer, Father, close as we can possibly be. Even though we know you're on the inside, we know knowing you is that closeness that we seek. Father, you're fulfilling that in us every day. And we're so truly grateful. We speak comfort to our brothers and sisters, wherever land you're in, whatever circumstances you face, know that your father is faithful and he has drawn nigh, hallelujah, to recompense judgment upon this earth on your behalf. Trust in that, believe him when he says so. He will keep you, he will protect you. He will provide for his own, even in the midst of famine, war, rumors of wars, earthquakes, storms, plagues, viruses. He will keep you. He will keep you. For you are the apple of his eye. Your name is etched to his right hand. He knows every hair by number upon your head. He knows 
every number of hair on your beard. Hallelujah. <laughs> Be that beard that lets the oil of gladness come forth. His peace may it be upon your heads, his blessings upon your heads, his name upon your forehead. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And may you represent the loving Savior wherever you go, whatever you do. For Yah, you are worthy. Not of some, but of all of our praise. We have nothing to glory in but you. No one to glory in but you. Receive the glory that your children give you, Father. Our hearts are warm towards you, eager to learn, eager to know you. Thank you, Father, for filling us, satisfying our souls with the knowledge and revelation that you bring forth by your spirit. Thank you, Father for your love, your kindness, and your long-suffering with us. Bless us, we pray, to know more and more today than we ever knew yesterday. For it's coming from heaven as manna to our souls, filling us up to overflow. In the name of Yahuwah, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. We magnify you, Yahuwah. You are the kingdom the glory, and we honor you forever. Amen. Hallelujah. As the old song we sing, let's just have a little talk with Yahusha. Tell him all about your trouble. You tell him. Don't have to worry about uh, broadcasting it. He'll hear your cry. Listen, he'll answer. He's answering right now, right here, right in the African continent. Yeah. I said he's answering now. Yes, he right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 In every area of this globe, every area of this earth, I should say, he is answering his children's cry. Yes, Hallelujah. he is. Hallelujah. And he's not just answering by and by. He's answering now. Okay. And we thank him. Hallelujah. You have answered many, many, many of our prayers. Yes. Actually, they're all answered. We're trying to catch up with them. Hey! Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're a little tripped up with time, but Father, you're not tripped up by nothing. That's right. So we know everything that is good is ours. Hallelujah. And we yeah. thank you for that, Father. Oh, in the name of Yah. Let's go to chapter 6 in the book of Jeremiah. Yes. Thank you all for your comments. And what I love about your comments is you're glorifying your father. You never stop doing that. He loves you to brag on him. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. He loves you to worship. Yes. You can get a lot out of, out of dad. When you give him some worship that's from the heart. Hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, ye children of Benjamin. Hmm. I think I remember Paul being of a Benjamite. <laughs> Gather yourselves to flee out of the midst of what? Jerusalem. Well, you know that this is still warning them because of their what? Folly and sin. Breaking of covenant. <laughs> the weeping prophet. Like I say, a prophet can tell you, but he can't make you do it. That's right. Come on. Come on. He can't make you behave yourself. Mm. And tell you what's going to happen if you don't. Can tell you, what you what's going to happen if you do. But, it, but, but they have no power over you doing or not doing. Come on. Y'all won't even take that. He won't even make you do right. He could make you do right, but then it would not be what he desires. He desires your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he says, ye children of Benjamin, gather yourselves to flee out of the midst of Jerusalem and blow the trumpet, Brother Anthony, blow that trumpet. <laughs> and to Tacoma, Tacoma, and set up a sign of what? Fire. And I'm going to try to receive this. 
that hath serim. Hallelujah. <laughs> For evil appeareth out of the north. And what was he talking about? The great armies. Mm -hmm. uh, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, it was a great empire. Come on now. And great what? Destruction. destruction not just destruction great destruction that's what happens when yah is giving you time and memorial to get your sins taken care of and he's pleading with his own people get your sins taken care of repent i'll receive you back to myself isn't that wonderful yes but now if you don't i'm a just yah and I must call the just judgment. You know, like some of these judges got specials and let them get away with murder and let them get away with killing folks, killing off folks, and just get a few couple couple of months if they get that a couple of years. Uh, no, he's his justice is real justice, but he holds it back, waiting on us to what reconcile the sins of our fathers and ourselves to him yes. change how do we show we're repentant our lives have changed our lives are no longer hungry after the things and lusts of this world anymore we're not hungry for this world's fame and this this world's money and this world's notoriety and what they consider success that doesn't move the people of Yah, because we worship the holy one we worship the one and only Yah himself. Hallelujah. You, what can compare that this world has to that? Mm -hmm. Verse 2, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a calmly and delicate flower. I'm going to say flower. I don't know. They put that woman in there. If they can put a word in, I can put a word in. As far as I'm concerned. Ah! Hello. You probably could use woman here to be uh, apropos, but. She's a flower. She, he loves him some Zion. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. The shepherds with their flocks shall come unto her or to her. And they shall pitch tents against her. So they're going to what? Siege. See, this is what he thinks of you. But apparently you don't want to conduct yourself that way. That's what he's talking to his people about. So what's going to happen? It's going to be a pitching of tents. That's what they did when they sieged the city. The armies would come and set up tents. And they'd starve you out. Make sure you're not getting no water and, and weaken you down. No, Nobody in and nobody out of the city. Until you start starving. They cut off your water supply. So those jugs you got in your house going empty and you don't have no way to get no more. People start eating their own children. It's just so bad. So this is what he's talking about, how bad it's going to get. They shall pitch their tents against her round about. They shall feed everyone in his place. So they're going to eat while they're there. They're not going to leave. They're going to have all their meals right there. So they're not going to leave you for a minute. Prepare you for war against her, he says. Arise and let us who against his Zion. That's what he's talking about. The one he loves, but don't love him. How can a man keep a woman in his house and take care of her every day, what she's had done, and she don't love him back? That's what he did. Wow. Buy her precious things, show her his love, his patience, his long suffering. But she didn't love him back. She go horn after other men. She go after other other gods. You go to work, work hard for her to give her a beautiful place to stay, buy her nice things when you can, a few jewelry, a few trinkets, and what she do? She put them on and go out nightclubbing with other men all night. End up in motels she with them. This is what our ancestors and this is the way to make you understand what happened. And what did he do? He said, when you come back, I'll forgive you. If you come back home, I'll forgive you. Mm -hmm. And what did the, the uh, Yasuelites do? Oh, no. We like it out here whoring after other gods. We like it out here doing what, what the world is doing. We like 
we don't we just want to be uh, in the world and not of it. We want to be of it too. Mm-hmm. We like going to different. We like going into different motels and hotels with different folk. Mm-hmm. We like it. That's just the attitude spiritually they had towards y'all. Yeah. But we'll come to the temple to so give you a little time. We'll offer some kind of broken neck lamb or something just to say we come. We came. We came in and we did something. We're going right back out there and do some more horn. I want you to get this affixed. So he wants you to understand why we had such harsh judgment. Prepare you, prepare you, prepare war against her. Arise, let, let us go up at noon. Woe unto us, for the day goes away, for the shadows of the evening are what? Stretched out. You hear that? Stretch out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. I think, uh, here you go. All right. Let's go on. Go by night. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Try to get out of there. Let us destroy her where? A palace. You know, the palace is where you. shine right mm-hmm. your palaces is where the rich folks live mm-hmm. yeah that's where they live real good yeah, huh yeah. well let us go by night and let us destroy her palace and we be trying to get out at night too but we trying to get away but what no he's y'all say you're not getting away they're gonna be camped around about you they're gonna you're gonna run right on back up in there or they're gonna kill you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're going to destroy her high places, her place, places she think is so rare and so beautiful. For thus, who Yah provided, of course. For thus has the Most High Yah of hosts said, hew or cut down trees and what? Throw or cast a mount against Jerusalem. They building up a, 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 a way to get up into the, uh, over the wall. Is that what they do? That's what they're doing. They get them trees down, huh? Uh-huh. And lean them up against the wall of the city. Yeah, like mm-hmm. He's saying before it happened, I'm showing you how they're going to do it. Yes. Yes. When it's time for you to weaken down, they're going to build a bulwark. And they're going to put it right up against the wall. Mm-hmm. So they can climb right on over, huh? Okay. Right. My, 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 my. This is the city to be visited. We're in verse 6. This is the city hmm. to be visited. So don't make no mistake. This is the one. She is holy oppression in the midst of her. She is holy altogether. Huh? Oppression <laughs> in the midst of her. Because why? Of her actions, her deeds. Do you know our deeds brought us into an oppressive situation? Mm-hmm. That now we're saying, oh, Father, we, we put both hands up. We worship you. We adore you. We love you. We know you delivered us from this oppressive, oppressive people. Oppression has been the name of the day, mm-hmm. the name of the years, and the, and the momentous harm and destruction has come to our people. And we're so thankful that he is calling it into it. Hate it for the color of your skin. It wasn't just the color of your skin. That's just what you saw. You didn't know what you had. You didn't know whose her who who was your true husband, who was who kicked you out of the house mm. way back when you didn't know nothing about it. Mm. So he turned you over, our ancestors over to, to uh be treated like the whores they became. Mm. Read Deuteronomy 28. All those blessings, a few verses, <laughs> and then started 16, all the curses, because he knew that was going to be your fate. Our fate, it was exactly that. The time, sometimes we have to stop and remember when we see about the cruelty and horrible things that's happened to our people, though he did not call for all the things that they've done to us. We really are not called 
to revenge because y'all allowed it to happen. And it's sad. We can cry great crocodile tears. In fact, they fed our children crocodiles, alligators. And we can feel very distraught about it. Go back and study and understand it. Because once you can understand it, you can truly repent and you can truly ask for forgiveness and your life can be turned in the other direction. Who can come up against your father, the creator of heavens and earth? No one can. And when you turn to him and you release your, 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 your person, your spirit, your soul, your mind to him, He'll take you in, in the, under the blood of Yahushua. Because he's taken him in. Hallelujah. And you in him. Yeah. And he will forgive you and he will, he will take care of you from then on. He took yeah. care of us without us understanding it. Even though horrible things happened to us, he kept us here. Hallelujah. We could have all been wiped out. But out of us, there was a remnant and yet is. That's the promise he made to our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That he would always have a remnant. So we're yet here. Not for any good we've done. But because our father promised it to our ancestors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And his word signifies it. All right. Seven. As a fountain casts out her waters. Now fountains uh, ushered. Yes, spew mm -hmm. their waters out. Mm -hmm. So she casts out her what? Listen to this. Violence and spoil is heard in her. Before me continually. This is grief and wounds. You hear that? Mm. What we don't we forget is y'all hurts too. You know, yeah. we always you know he's he's God. He's strong. He's Yahuwah. He doesn't hurt. He doesn't have pain. Well, then you wouldn't experience it then. Mm. He said he made man in his image. He mm. gave you emotions yes, he did. because why he has emotions. Oh, he weeps. Yahusha wept. Did he do it? He laughs. Read songs. He laughs. He weeps. Huh? Yes. He gets angry. He falls in love. Oh, come on. Hey. He's in love with his elect. And his elect is in love with him. Hallelujah. Hmm. So he says, he said, she, so she should cast off her wickedness. Really what it should say. Hmm. Violence and spoil is heard and hurt. So she was to cast off her wickedness. There would be no things like this, no violence and spoil within her, would it? Before me, she does, what does she do? She has violence and spoil before me all the time. It don't stop. She don't let up none. There's no reason, don't, you no know, reason with people like that. Be thou, yeah, he has this patience with us. I, 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 it's, it boggles the mind. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem. Lest my soul depart from you. You hear that? You mean y'all has a soul? Yes. Mm -hmm. he, he, he made man a living what? Soul. Mm -hmm. Well, he's a spirit. I say, yeah, and he got a soul. Wow. Didn't you know you, you were made in his image? He has a body. He has a soul. And he has a spirit. I'll let you digest that. 
depart from you from from thee lest i make thee desolate a land not inhabited you hear that his presence are going, is going to depart from him lest i make you desolate in other words i'm giving i can i can just wipe you out he said be instructed learn be taught that's what he's saying understand this jerusalem lest my soul my presence leave you mm. and it did didn't it? Yes, it did. it's just like his presence left these churches yeah. they were there he was he actually his presence was there for for the for those who were seeking him yes for a while but now he's with nicobar mm -hmm. his presence has gone now i didn't say a person cannot have understanding and and love y'all but overall he's not there that's why strove light smoke coming on the stage entertainment circus is coming in circus is going out Come on. they all kind of entertainment now you don't have to go to theaters no more you ain't got to go to a live show a musical just go to church because they've made up the the mics the, the mm -hmm. mic's so loud the, the speaker's so loud you can't hardly hear yourself think mm -hmm. come on because they gotta they gotta have it loud i've been i've been in the atmosphere Drown out the fact that there's Holy Spirit, He's not there. But I knew He was there in a sense because I knew He was in me. I just happened to be over in your in your territory. You understand what the difference? I mean, when you go in a place that somebody's not there that has the Holy Spirit, but eventually they're gonna be leaving out too. I'm telling you, only religious people gonna stay with religion once they find out what it is. Oh my, that's another subject. Nine. Thus saith the Most High Yah of hosts, they shall thoroughly glean the remnant. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're gonna glean glean the the what? Leftovers. The leftovers. Mm -hmm. Come on now. As a vine. You know what that means. You know, there's usually when you harvest grapes off the vine or whatever fruit you're picking you, you you usually in those days they would leave something behind mm -hmm. yeah. and they were instructed to leave something behind don't take everything mm -hmm. because that was their, their social way to feed the hungry when, when they needed they would glean the field huh mm -hmm. after it had been harvested yes and that was what ruth was doing when mm -hmm. she went to boaz field those that were hungry, they were saying, you have to leave. Yah's order was, yes, leave something behind for those who need it. Yes. Huh? Come on. Well, now listen to what Yah is saying about his people. They're going to be thoroughly gleaned. Mm. Mm. Come on now. Mm. As a vine, turn back thine hand as a grape gatherer into the baskets now what is he saying he said he's going to have them wiped out because hmm. he says here thoroughly thoroughly that's the word there thoroughly gleanly you ain't leaving nothing, nothing behind mm -hmm. you're going to mm -hmm. clean them out mm -hmm. as a vine that's a sad situation isn't it? Mm -hmm. who gonna be left well we know there is a remnant but he, he you have to understand the context of what he's saying when you wipe out a whole community a whole town and you you put people in chains and you kill and murder uh uh the the people that are there the young men the soldiers even those that are innocent you rape the women you take people uh in chains for slavery you disperse them everywhere that's total destruction i don't care there is a couple of people left there that's total destruction you understand what i'm mm -hmm. saying all right mm -hmm. all right turn back thine hand as a a great gatherer into what because that's what he was saying 
go back and see if there's something left on the vine. Mm -hmm. You take your basket and go and go see what you can you can find. Isn't that what it says? Turn back. Go take your hand back as a, as as what? Go back and get the rest of it. Don't leave mm -hmm. nothing on the vine. No, you that gather the grape, don't leave nothing on the vine. No, really. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Ten. To whom shall I speak and give warning? You think that he's talking to the ones that he could give warning. But he's talking about they're not listening. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, to whom shall I tell who shall i give warning to that they may hear me, hear me? who's listening behold their ear is uncircumcised and we know circumcision in the flesh was the marker that you will belong to yah huh was that the word on the eighth day, circumcise your son. Isn't that right? Moses almost lost his life behind circumcising his son. His wife, uh, as a boy, said, you are a bloody man. So I got to sit here and cut this foreskin off my son to keep you alive. But he's talking about now your hearing, your reception, he said, repeat, he said, who's going to listen? Your ears are in a position, they're uncircumcised, to hear me. You can't hear me. Uncircumcised, in other words, saying unrighteous. And they cannot hearken. They cannot, they, 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 they hear the words, but they can't do nothing about it. They don't have a heart to obey the word. They don't have a heart to turn away from their wickedness. So you can talk to a drug addict all day and all night. But if he ain't got a mind to drop them drugs, you're wasting your time. He can't even hear you. All he do is hear that drug calling his name or her name. Isn't that right? That's right. Alcoholics, ask them. You can say, look, stop drinking, buddy. Man, you can see his ten of your life. Can't you see it? Why don't you just give it up? Look at that bottle. It's doing you harm. Mm -hmm. They look at you like you lost your mind. That's their friend. They'll take your dad friend and a bottle over you. Because why? They don't have a heart to change. Until they get a heart to change. They can't change. Come on now. Oh, yeah. That's it. You can have AAAPA, DAA, and all the rest of them. Those people can do fine off for a while, but don't, just don't let a crisis come. Don't let a crisis come. They remember their old friend. They drown their troubles again. There could be some exceptions, but there ain't that many. All right. I'll give you your kudos. <laughs> all right. Behold, the word of the Most High Yah is unto them a what? A reproach, an insult. Listen, truth will always be an insult to those who don't want to do what is right. Mm -hmm. If you tell a man to stop having sex with so many women, he'll cuss you out. Because that's what he wants to do. Ask him to get rid of his pornography. He look at you like you're a fool. Mm -hmm. And he don't know he's a fool. Hey. But he's not listening. Because that pornography is calling him. And it means more to him than his wife, you, and anybody else. Stuck. Yes. Mm. It's, and that's what he's saying about his people. They are like drug addicts, drunkards. Huh? Mm -hmm. They're adulterers, fornicators. And enjoying every every destructive part of it. And they so therefore they can't hear him. Mm -hmm. And that's for you and me to remember. Anything that's taken your life will block you hearing your hearing. The Holy Spirit 
It will block it. Sin blocks the voice of God. Not because he wants to block it, because you blocked it. Because you put blocks in your ear with those devices and lusts that mean more to you than he does. Because you rather stir up your flesh and stir your love up for him. You rather feel good, have a feel good moment than a real good moment. So many will lose because for some reason they don't, they can't hear and they cannot shape these things that they don't realize are destroying them. They have what? They have no, there it is. They, they have no delight in doing what's right. You want to rhyme something? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that sounds boring. How can knowing the creator of the heavens and earth and all there is within, how can you go into the ocean and look at all those fish? How can you go and all those creatures and go up into the air and see all these beautiful birds and, and all this beautiful uh, tundra and mountains and streams and, and oceans and trees and, and know who created it and say, oh, knowing him would be boring. Mm. That's what happens when you get too much of the world in your, in your ear. It's like a thick wax. You can't hear nothing else. You can't be involved. You have serving because your other half of your brain is over there looking for that lustful thing. Uh oh, come on now. And you think y'all is going to accept your offer, your praise? Your, you ain't got no praise. So you get right. Come on now. Okay, what it is? Dirty magazines. Whatever it is. Y'all not in that. So how are you going to walk with him and doing that? How are you going to look at a, a woman's behind and turn it into a sex act? How are you going to whore in your mind and maybe not physically, but you've got it in your head? How come you can't keep your mind clean? Hey, Maybe you don't have the mind of y'all. I would think you might, you might want to look into that. So we got a lot of people that church and told them, just say you sorry and everything's fine. Just keep walking with us and making sure your offering coming in and doing all the right, you know, knee jerks and stuff. And you all right. But man is not young. He cannot tell you who's right. Only thing right is scripture. And half of them don't know how to even understand it anyway. Okay. They ain't walking like nothing. So they let you walk any way you want to walk. Mm. Not everyone, but a very few, very few who understand the importance of righteous living, righteousness, not just moral living. Anybody just about to live a moral life, that's what they want to live, but they can't live a righteous life because that pleases y'all. All right. 11. Therefore, I am full of the fury of the most high Yah. I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad in the street and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken. The agent with him that is full of days. They going to. Y'all says everybody going. I'm running you out of here. I don't care how young, how old, young, old. Married, single, young, don't matter. Come on. To 12. And their houses shall be turned unto what? Others. Others going to take your place. Going to take your houses. Like I gave you others' houses, they're going to take them back. Mm. And all the new ones you built. <laughs> With their fields and wives together. Got your field, got your farm, and you and got the wife too. And run you off and run you out of here. Run you out of Dodge. Mm. And keep your wife and keep your farm. Now think about that. That's what y'all say he's going to do, and he did it, too. But let's get on. He said, for I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land, say at the most high, his own people are the inhabitants of the land. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest, the highfalutin, the rich, the wealthy, you know, those who muchy much, hallelujah, their, their chariot is a Mercedes Benz. Hey! Okay. Uh, they're a silver goose. Hey! A chariot, a silver goose chariot. Ha! 
Oh, hey. Ah, come on now. Come on now. I'm going to get them and I'm going to get the lowest, the poorest. Mm. Come on. Don't think because you poor, you ain't going to get no more. Uh, everyone is given to what? Covetousness. Everybody. I don't care how rich or how poor. They all sin before, mm. before me. And what is covetousness? We learn that where we live so well. It's greed. That's what's going on over there now. That's what's going on here with capitalism. And that's what's going on with imperialism over there in these other nations. They greedy. Yep. So greedy. They ain't needy. They greedy. Mm-hmm. But what they what greedy do is makes needy. That's right. Because they take from the bottom half and leave them nothing. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it all rises to the what? To the top. Don't think y'all knows about all this? Woo, you're talking about a businessman. You ain't seen a businessman. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he will give you house of other, others and, and give your wife over, your land over to him. Huh? Teacher, teacher. And, the, and, the, and the lowest, the least, and the greatest huh, are greedy. You, the poor is even greedy. You know the poor folks will be greedy. I've seen some greedy poor folk. Mm. Not needy, greedy. They may have some need, but they overdo it with the with the greed, huh? Come on now. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, I uh uh-uh. even the prophet, those those who speak my word, come on. Mm. Even to the priest that serve the people on my behalf. Mm. Everyone deals falsely. You hear that? Mm. This is the why he's got a judge. You got your own unrighteousness going on in your own backyard. Come on. They don't even go on over somebody's front porch and pointing out some problems when your whole back backyard is full of iniquity. Hey, come on. Disobedience. Unrighteous deeds. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Slightly. Half stepping. Half doing it. Mm-hmm. You know how you can go and feel pretty good about something for a minute? But it don't really, it's not the solution to the problem. You don't want to follow anybody who can't show you how Yah does things mm-hmm. so you can actually get a solution. That's the only solution. Huh? Mm-hmm. It, 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 it's not a com, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what do you call it when you, when you have those talks about how to improve everything, your health and, and how to improve your walk and how to improve your mental state, all these how to do it books that you read. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, trying to you know, improve yourself. Self-image is what these books are. Uh, they have speakers that go out and, and, and try to and boost seminars, your, seminars to boost your, your 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 morale and give you a, a brighter look on life. Mm. It ain't gonna be that. Mm. You keep your money in your pocket. <laughs> Self help. <laughs> Self help ain't gonna do it. You need Yah's help. Absolutely. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. He'll help you if you'll let him help you. Come on. Hallelujah. So he's saying those that I sent to help you, they, they, they're half-stepping mm-hmm. themselves. That's what he meant. He said, why? Because yeah, they greedy too. Right. They got gifts in them, but because of the greed, that what? They, they half-stepping. They'll help you, but they got the hand out. Mm. So they're not going to give you really this, the purity of the word because they're not pure. They, they're some, they're, they're uh, gleaning money out of you to give you help that he gave, put in them to help you with. Now, how's that going to work? Right. So he says, everyone deals falsely. Everybody lying. Mm-hmm. They got a man coming down the stairs. I don't know if y'all saw it on YouTube. Some, some, somebody said they preach or whatever it was. I'm, I'm sure he got a title of some kind. And they said he was walking down the stairs on air. Mm. I don't know why I didn't send that out to y'all. Signal, he, but y'all put it in your computer. You'll find the pre- the preacher, the pastor, whatever he was called himself, bishop or whatever. Said they had a picture of this man walking down. Maybe it's on uh, TikTok, walking downstairs as if he was walking on air. He wasn't even feet wasn't even touching the steps. This is the kind of stuff thrills thrills itching ears. Mm-hmm. I said sure. That's why I didn't send it to you because I was fake and I just went on to the next thing. <laughs> Come on now. Cherkis is right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing but a Cherkis. 14. They have healed also the what? Hurt of the daughter of my people slightly. So in other words, 
Yes, there are times when these prophets and priests heal my people, uh, help them. Because hmm? I gave it to them to, to know how to help them, right? Mm -hmm. Also, they've done, they've hurt them. Yes. Pick up your mind. First you help me, then you hurt me. Well, you hurt me, then you help me. Come on. You help me, help me, then you help me, help me. Huh? Okay. You, you ran into people like that? Yep. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> they tell you some good news at uh, 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 some kind of information. And then uh, when the service is over, you go up to try to ask a question and look at you like, what are you asking? Are you right. actually talking yep. to me? Yeah. Do you know who I am? Yep. Have you had that? Yeah. Then they hurt you. Come on now. They helped you. Wow, that's great news. Oh, I like that. Wow, I can, I can, I'm going to see, but there's one little question I have. Let me go, because he's help, helping, and she's helping. Okay. Now let me go over there and ask. Come on now. Don't you do that. Some folks, you'll be hurt. You have to see my secretary and make an appointment. Yeah. And don't make it uh, next few months because I'll be out of town. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it happens. That's it. Oh, they hurt you by begging you for some of your money. They got all kind of ways. Or oh, they hurt you by taking your office and after they give you some good advice, want to sleep with you. Ooh, come on now. Or oh, make friends with you so they can sleep with your wife. Ooh. And vice versa. Mm -hmm. So you heal them and then you hurt my people slightly. Saying peace, peace. Ooh. When there is no peace, you're, you're lying to the people. Right. You're lying to the people. That's what that's what that is. When you tell a lie, oh everything's all right. Y'all y'all don't y'all don't sin. Don't worry about the sin. Just say I'm sorry. Keep living. You all right? Mm -hmm. Don't tell people that. Tell them they gotta walk right before y'all. And he gives through the Holy Spirit to make sure and ensure of that. Because there they're not alone trying to live righteous. Because no man can live righteous without the Holy Spirit. But there's no excuse then with the Holy Spirit for you to live unrighteous. And if you're gonna live unrighteous, you're not none of his. Mm. Why don't you tell him that? Hey. Because your wallet gonna shrink. And I was I was uh, footing the whole show. Now I'm going someplace else. We're gone. Hmm. Preacher probably got some sense now. Start preaching the truth. He says in verse number 15, oh yeah, one more thing about this peace, peace. Uh, when people tell, they've been doing it for years, they're still doing it, they're doing it back then, they're doing it now. Telling you, there's nothing to really be concerned about here. No need to look. You know how the sheriff of the town say, all right, y'all, nothing to see here. Mm -hmm. Just disperse and go on back to your homes mm -hmm. and do your thing, go back to your farm. And remember that? And you know, good and well, they got to something. Exactly. Well, that's what the devil do. He wants you to think everything's fine, calm. But see, it's getting out of hand for him now. He can't control it now. This internet and told everything. Come on. Everybody can find out anything they want to find out and stuff they don't want to know. People ain't getting away with, with secrets like they used to. Ah, so he nervous. So he's making his people nervous. Because he's a hard taskmaster. So this stuff about peace, peace, peace. There ain't going to be no peace on this earth the way in the shape it's in. Peace gonna come when y'all get rid of this place and put it put his peace down here. Yeah, the only it. peace gonna be here is you, in you side of you. That's the only peace gonna be on the earth now. Is that peace he's giving you? That's peace. Hallelujah. But when you talking about outside peace, they're lying. Oh, we gonna get caught up any minute. Now don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about the fire coming over here. Oh, there's no problem. Oh, don't worry about the whales coming out, uh, uh, spitting out uh, bath, uh, toilet water. It, it'll be all right. Go on down to the other place and get some water. Mm. Uh, we got some bottled water over here. Don't know where that comes from. Right. But anyway, just telling you, calm down. We're getting ready to be raptured at any minute. You should just be waiting for the rapture. And when, that, when that bomb burn up your drawers, uh, <laughs> remember that then. Oh, yeah. When that fire comes swinging down from the heaven, huh? Like these comets are coming bolting down, huh? People's houses blowing up. They won't tell you why they blowing up, will they? Oh, oh, we investigate. They, I know, but when do you ever come back and tell us what it is? Exactly. Yeah, 
is blowing up a lot of these places. You know why? Because they have to design evil in it. That's right. They found a man with all kinds of arsenals getting ready to do what? Terrorism against our people. Take it, take it. But y'all exposed them. Yes. Want to go and blow up, blow us up. Did you see the people out there doing the picnic and the, and the helicopter went over and dropped a lot of mosquitoes on them? Mm -hmm. yeah. Our people better wake up. Yeah. And stop being involved in this world. That's that's what we, that's what's going to be happening. Where you congregate because what? Africa getting ready to take this place over. Can't you see that? Can't you see that they have woke up? Come on. Hey. And that means, wait a minute, you got kind of brown looking skin yourself. That's right. They call you African American, don't they? Yes, they do. They should call you, well, I won't call me a Yahudi, but let me tell you something. A Yaswalite is fine too. But I'm telling you, I, I do like what I heard someone say. I'd rather you call me an American African. It makes more sense. Because I'm not an American by my heritage. You understand? Mm -hmm. I come from the continent they call, mistakenly, Africa. Mm -hmm. My relatives are from Africa. So therefore, I am first, first of all, an African. So I call me an American African. Like you, uh, if, like you say, you can ask every other place. Oh, I'm, I'm Chinese American. Well, yeah, I'm African American, but I'm really an African living in America. It really doesn't matter to me what you call me. But the thing is, I have to know within myself who I am. Okay. And my my we, my wealth of knowledge don't come from outside; it comes from inside of who I am. Hallelujah! And it, and He will tell you who you are. So they have healed; they've hurt. Come on now, they've slightly helped. They've lied to my peace, 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 making you feel good, but what setting you up for what fall? Whoa! It says, excuse me, where are they where? Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Were they? No. No, you're right. They were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush even. It could even be blush. When people are on drugs, you can tell them it's against the law, it's going to harm your body, but they can't even blush. Why? Because they're controlled by the drug. Mm. Yeah, they're controlled by, I know, because when I was, I did rock cocaine, I know what it's like. And when you do, they have done that, you, you, your senses are, are tapped. That's right. And unless y'all get you out of that. Hallelujah. Right. He's able. You're you having some struggles right now, let me tell you, he's able. Yes, he we is. got he folks is. around this table know exactly what we you're talking about. That's right. He's able. And yes. let me tell you something. There's nothing so great. That if you really want to be rid of it, by Yah's grace, you cannot. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Because he's bigger than any problem you, you find yourself facing. Hallelujah. 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 I'm a witness. Hey, me too. All right. We're all witnesses Hallelujah. here. Hallelujah. We've all been delivered from something yes. that we Hallelujah. thought was so great. We found out how small it was in the sight of Yah. And that's why we love him so much. That's one of the real reasons we love him. We've seen what he's done in our lives, what he's delivered us from, what he took us out of. Mm -hmm. We ain't going back. Ain't nothing to go back to. No. Nope. It's heaven or bust for us. Period. Hallelujah. 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 That's it. Hallelujah. So they couldn't be ashamed. No, nope. they couldn't be. Neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. And let me tell you, Yehudi, Yahshua, you will fall among these heathens when they fall. And it's a sad, sad tale to have to tell. You who have so much but could not see the value, like Esau, couldn't see the value of his inheritance. Mm -hmm. Some of you are saying, well, I just know Jesus Christ. I don't have to know who I am. I don't care if I'm a Israelite or not. It ain't got nothing to do with my salvation. That is one of the saddest things you can mm -hmm. say. Because that's what Esau said. Don't matter to me. 
I know Jake was my dad. I'm going to get money. I ain't worried about it. I, what is inheritance? And I know I'm the oldest son. He didn't care. I got, I got Jacob. You got Jesus. I, I got Jacob. That's what they thought. He right. thought. But what he didn't understand is he needed Yah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because that's who Jacob had. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 That's it. That's who Jacob had. Now he think he can just get away with having Jacob. Hmm. And a lot of you think that way because I know somebody that holy and love Yah and set apart and all that, and I'm gonna be fine. No, you're not. Because you got to be holy for yourself. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 When you can't be ashamed of your wrong, you have a what? Callous heart. When you can't think that what you're doing is damnable, you have a big problem. So they're going to fall among them that fall. So he said, my people are going to take their, their judgment along with the world. And that's so sad. At the time that I visit them, there it is. They shall be what? Cast out. But everybody else. Saith who? You put a circle around that one. Put a star there. You're going to get the same punishment you, you want to deem out to all these other heathens. Well, guess what? If your life is like theirs, you're going to go to the same fate. Mm. 16. Thus saith the Most High Yah, stand you in the ways and see, and ask for the what? Old path. Hello, somebody. The right path for the oh, old ways. Yeah. The way Yah <laughs> dealt with his people in the past. Oh, yeah. That's what he's saying. Yes, yes. They have not changed. They still lead to me. They still lead to righteousness. Preach it, preach it, preach it. My law is still gold. It's still valuable. Yes, the yes. priest that I said before you, it's a valuable institution. Hallelujah. You understand? Hallelujah. The rites and rituals were bringing you to understand me. Hmm. These things are what you need to go back to. Going back to stop bringing me these broke leg lambs and, and, and blemished goats and whatever you bring. He says, you, you, you got to go back to the way that you know is right. You don't, since you want to come up and start up a new way, you can't do a new way. The way has already been set by y'all. Because we're living under oppression, it doesn't mean that we can just do whatever we want to do. We have to seek Yah in everything. Hallelujah. Be led of the Spirit. Walk in His light. Hallelujah. Where is the what? It's the good way. Yes. What I taught you, He's talking about. Those Ten Commandments. Huh? Hallelujah. Every law I gave you. That was the good way. Yes. Because that's the way that your sins were blotted out before Hallelujah. me. But now it's not the good way because you are going the wrong way. And when you go the wrong way, your sins remain before me. And you, what? And if, if, so don't, he says, see and ask for the good way. So if you don't see it, ask for it. If you don't understand it, ask for it. He said, if you ask me for the Holy Spirit, I will give you the Holy Spirit. You ask me for bread, will I give you a stone? Mm -hmm. No. Where is the good way? And walk therein. When you find it, don't just say, oh, look, I found it. He said, walk it. Walk in that. Hey. Walk in the good way. Say, walk in the good way. Walk in the good way. Hallelujah. And you shall find what? I'm going to start by this one. I very really much have this 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 here verse. <laughs> okay. All right. You will find rest for your soul. Because it's not just about the body. It's about the total person. Hallelujah. That's right. But they said we will not what? Walk there No, we won't walk that way. That's not the way we want to walk. Very stiff neck. Also, I said, what? Watchmen over you. To help to guide you, to show you when it's day. What do the watchmen do? 
they 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 put you in a place where you're safe. If they see some an army or an enemy coming, they warn the people, they tell the people, watchmen are prophets. Hallelujah. Yes. I said watchmen over you. Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. I told you prophets are trumpets. We have one out called the prophets are a trumpet. That was important that y'all wanted you to know. That wasn't just a, a catchy title. That's right. You need to listen. He's showing you the ways. He's got his way of doing things. Mm-hmm. And his way is to talk through the prophets still to this day. But oh, we got the Holy Ghost now. We don't need no prophets. That's the lie from the pit of hell. That part. Even Paul says in his writings, there's prophets. And, and, and apostles and teachers and evangelists and teachers. Mm-hmm. You, for what? Building up. Edifying the body. But people don't want to believe it. Why? Because the preachers have not preached the truth. If anything, they are against the prophets. Just like them old kings that didn't want to do Yah's will. Mm-hmm. And the prophets will go up and say, look, if you don't get this straight, Yah's going to judge it. Yep. And what do they do? Get them out of here. Mm-hmm. Don't throw old Jeremiah in the pit. Go kill them. Get rid of them. You you think by harming the prophet, the word of Yah stops? Nope. They're just a human being. But the word is eternal. They are trumpets. They, they're instruments in the hand of Yah. And it takes a humble person to humble themselves before a prophet. Yeah. Because that's something our nature, especially in this Western culture, don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. She ain't no better than me. He ain't no better than me. Isn't that what Aaron and Miriam said? Mm-hmm. Yah knows that. That's why he put people in front of you. Because he knows a person that's humble will adhere to what he said. And they'll take the prophet's word and they will obey what the prophet tell them because they know it's coming from Yah. Then you got other folks that say, I remember I used to go to I remember him over there in Nazareth. He ain't no big deal. He was kind of shy, didn't do a lot of stuff we did. But who is he to come over here and try to heal us now? <laughs> oh yeah. He did that with Yahusha. Teach it, teach it. That's all right. It ain't bothering us. I don't feel a thing. Yeah, I, I, I felt, felt this. I, I didn't feel nothing. I felt it. I didn't feel it. The earthquake just happened. <laughs> yep. I ain't Hallelujah. seen it. I ain't heard it. Don't we have no no beeps around oh, here? Oh, yeah. Because y'all is oh, our stability. Oh, I feel yeah, it. It's still going up. Oh, that's y'all. Check the tape. Anyway, clap. Y'all I was just old. turn that off for me, please. We're not, that's not what we're interested in. Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not. You know what you said? Yes, what they said. They got Hillary out here running, <laughs> and an earthquake too. <laughs> what did y'all say? He said he's gonna put what? Stack them on top of one another. That's right. You in one thing, you in a, uh, 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 what is this called? Uh, the tropical or tor- whatever they call it, a hurricane. <laughs> and then an earthquake happened. And they said a tornado could come too. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aren't you glad he said us? Hey, hey, yeah, he's yeah, our yeah, father. Yeah. And he That's wanted right. that to happen while we on here. Come, come on now. Ocean. They said they felt it the around the table. I ain't felt nothing. Yeah. It was rocking. Mm-hmm. Ah! Yeah, it was doing like that. Yes. Ah! I'm sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Why is it? Crazy. I, thought, I ain't well, thought about it. I ain't, thought, I ain't felt a thing. What happened? Earthquake. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, All right, let's go back. No, no, no. Hallelujah. We don't take time to. The, that's y'all's <laughs> tools. They're not aimed to her oh, much. Why wouldn't worry about it? And are you what? Yeah. They, they, she didn't say a word. I felt it. She uh-huh. felt it. Yeah, well, let's go on. I but they said, Cleefus, we're gonna get not gonna be distracted. Thank you. Thank you. But they said we will n- turn that off, please. Put it on mute. Help him with his phone. <laughs> Pops can't uh, turn his phone off. They, they got all these alerts going on because. Did y'all hear that? 
<laughs> protect yourself. Oh, oh we you protect you. We all protect. I ain't got to protect myself. Come on now. I'm going to jump up under the table. No, I ain't jumping up under the table. Sit right here. All right. We're going to keep on talking this word. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to stop us. Y'all, that's our father's tool. That's our, when this earth shake, that's him. Not one interruption with the broadcast. Not one interruption with this broadcast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the storm out there. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, this is his word. This is his word. Hallelujah. All right, let's get back to it. All right. They said, we won't listen. We ain't going to hearken. We ain't going to do what's right. Mm -hmm. Therefore, hear you nations and know, O congregations, that is among you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Hear, O earth. Uh oh. Hey. Here it comes. Behold, I will bring evil upon this people. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a word in season. Mm -hmm. Not now we didn't move from Jerusalem to now. Earth. Right now. The earth. Come on, listen to the Holy Spirit. Come on now. Yes. The earth is shaking now. Come on now. He's over here. I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts. He's going to bring some evil on that. All your plans, in other words. You think you got some great plans? I'm going to fix that. Okay. Come on now. Because they have not listened unto my words, nor to my law. But rejected it. Yes. Twenty. To what purpose comes there to me incense from Sheba and sweet cane from a far country? Mm -hmm. Offerings. Mm -hmm. Your burnt offerings are <laughs> your burnt offerings are what? And not acceptable. No need them. No need them. Nor your sacrifices. No. They're not sweet to me. No. Therefore, it can't be. Therefore, thus saith the Most High Yah, Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people. And the fathers and sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall what? Perish. The neighbor and his friend. Thus saith the Most High Yahuwah, Behold, a people come from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel. They have no mercy. Their voice warreth like the sea, and they ride upon horses, set in array as men for war against you, O daughter of Zion. I am so so thankful to know the main is over, but there's main to come because the many of our people are getting ready to perish and be judged. That's right. We have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble, tired, become trouble. Come on now. Trouble and feeble. Anguish hath taken hold of us. Huh? So anguish is trouble. Yeah. And then it took hold. Come on. And what else? Pain. Ooh, I can't. Pain is something else, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Not only physical, but mental pain. Mental pain. Emotional pain. Right. Right. As of a woman, what? Travail. In travail. In labor. In labor. Anybody who's a woman know that what that means. Mm -hmm. And if you men have heard her scream a lot enough, y'all don't want to, y'all know y'all don't want to deal with it either. All right. 25. <laughs> Go not forth into the field. Listen to this. Nor walk by the way. Go out there and start walking along, along the, the walkway outside or any place, the paths that you, you're going down or the sidewalk in front of your house. For the sword of the enemy and fear is where? So go. don't be out there in the world's doings. Mm -hmm. mm. This is not that time. Teach it, teach it. Having a big concert, and there you go running right up in the middle of it. Well, it's just so-and-so, and they're so entertaining. Yeah, when they all get shot up, you better pray to y'all spare you out of that, that group. This is not the time to go to places where there's a lot of people that are not serving y'all. Because y'all is bringing judgment on them. You better keep yourself away from them. You could be collateral damage because you don't listen.
26, O oh daughter, O oh daughter of my people, tie a gird about you with sackcloth. This is a sign of mourning. Mm -hmm. And wallow. How roll? You know what the holy rollers used to be? This mm -hmm. is only this ain't this is a roller. This is just without the holy, the roller part. <laughs> oh, roll yourself in ashes. Look bad. Look just bad. like you roll chicken and flour. Yes, roll yes, yourself yes. in some ashes. Yes, Make you are mourning. Because that's you're trying to be in a position where your heart can break. Mm -hmm. A broken and contrite spirit I will in no wise cast out. As for an only son, most bitter lamentation. For the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. Even when you have one child, you're going to lose that child. I'm not going to spare anybody. Mm -hmm. Yahusha, when he was visited us, he, he, the, the widow of Nain, he had, he had compassion. Losing her only son, which is the only way she even had a way to live yeah. in those days. Mm -hmm. And he saw her weeping and saw she was so worried. Not only was she crying over the loss of her son, she didn't know how she was going to make it. And he raised him from the dead. Ooh, come, on. come on now. Yes, yeah. The spoiler, the raider will suddenly come upon us. I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people. And thou mayest know and try their way. Test them. That's when he says try their way. Teacher, means teacher. Test. They are all grievous revolters. They grieve Yah by their revolting spirit. They revolt in their actions. They revolt in their disobedience. Walking with slanderers. They are brass and iron. Can't get nothing in, can't enough. Hmm. Can't reason with the unreasonable. Right. They are all corruptors. Not only are they corrupt, they corrupt others. Mm -hmm. right. And you got people teaching, and they and they're making just as they making Jesus. false teachers out of people that come to them to learn. Mm -hmm. They'll turn around and go teach somebody what they learn. That's false. Mm -hmm. The bellows are burned. They they, they cold air. And bellows make the fire great, yes, yes. huh? When you yes, when you were yes. a blacksmith, how yes, many yes. used to have those bellows? Bring and the bellows hello. make the fire hello. hotter, isn't that right? With more and more and more air. Hallelujah! That's what the bellows are. Hallelujah! He's using it as a similitude. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! They're burned. When you burn up the bellows, what you gonna what? Uh, you can't uh, do anything else because the fire gonna die out. When the bellow go, the fire go. Because you got to keep the fire going with the bellow. But now the bellow is burned up. So what you going to have a fire with? It's going to burn out. You ain't going to stand there and fan it with your hand. It ain't going to work. The lead is consumed of the fire. All right? So it's no way you can take the, 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 and, and do anything. Because it's gone. It's burnt up. All right. The founder melteth in vain. Yeah, he's melting it down, but it's going to be in vain because he can't do nothing with it because there ain't enough fire to keep going to make anything. Oh, come on now. When the anointing is gone, you're not going to make nothing worthwhile for y'all. You can't do nothing worthwhile for y'all. You're just doing man's ideas. But man's ideas are not his. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 For the wicked are not plucked away. Why? Not right now. Keep going to pluck them. Right now they're here to make your life miserable. If you, you got to pass your test. And I believe we come out for them 400 years and now we are being tested not to harm us but to, to show us up. To let us see his wonders. To let us see him his provisions for us. Not to destroy us. Hallelujah. That's why he brought us. It, you're on this side of the 400. You could have been born on the other side. You could come over mm -hmm. in the middle of it and die. But y'all said, I'm going to hold you over. Hey, come on now. Hallelujah. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
You have been chosen to be a witness. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 For the greatness of God. Hallelujah. 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 Re reprobate silver shall men call them. Reprobate. Come on. Inferior. This has been calling us a long time. Oh, yes. <laughs> reprobate. Inferior. Silver is inferior to gold, isn't it? Yes, it is. Because the Most High has what? Rejected them. And that's where we come out of. Yes. And that's why we can appreciate this side coming out of such a horrendous past. Hallelujah. 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 But you need to see where it started. You need to understand the heart of Yah. You need to see his long suffering for these people of ours that are our ancestors. And see that he brought you on this side. So you could be one of those, uh, what do you call it, uh, neon signs. I used to say that, uh, that point the way to you, Usha. Mm -hmm. You can be that light on the hill, that candle that's lit, not hidden. Ooh, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So y'all can get glory for himself out of our lives. Hey. That's the goal while we're on this earth. That he mm -hmm. can say, point to you. And say, look at me. Hey, that's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Hallelujah. That's what he did with you. Mm -hmm. Look at him. That's me. That's right. Look at my children. Don't they look just like their daddy? Okay. Hallelujah. 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 Don't they favor me? They look just like I'm so proud of them. That's Hallelujah. what he's looking for. Yes. Let's make Papa Abba proud. Yes. Hallelujah. Boast yourself in the most high. Yeah. Tell everybody you know he's my father. I ain't trying to convince you. You can't, he ain't come call you. Can't, don't worry about it, but he's my father. That's right. He's Hallelujah. our father, Yasarel. He's our father, Yahudi, and all those who will claim to us. He's our father. That's right. Hallelujah. Which are in heaven. He is glorious, magnificent, wondrous, powerful. All oh, power is in his name. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, God, my hour is a right now. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. The vessel is my day. But I am your yah and you are my people. He Hallelujah. Said. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to close right there. We're going to get that Good. Shafar going. Good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Father. Oh. Hallelujah. Mark it out. Hallelujah. Where you going? Have a seat. Ooh, Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. 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 Let's worship. Yeah. This is Hallelujah. worship time. Yes. We're going to sound the trumpet while the storm is on the outside and the earth is shaking all over the place. Okay. We're going to give y'all the praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To y'all be the glory. To y'all be all the glory and all the praise forever Amen. and ever and ever. For he is worthy to be praised. To be praised. Hallelujah. Honey, I'm going to have him blow later. But apparently something happened to him. So let's have a song. And he'll come back and blow at the end. <laughs> Meantime, I'll pray. Let me yes, pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful word. You are truly awesome. Wondrous to behold. It is you, Father, and not we ourselves that have made this such a glorious time together. Thank you, Father, so much. Bless our family, wherever they reside on this earth, with understanding, with knowledge and revelation from on high. Feed us till we want no more. Satisfied. Hallelujah. Till we want no more. Hallelujah. We rely on you. We love you. We lean upon you. Take us where you want to take us. Hallelujah. Teach us what you want to teach us. For you are everything to us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for teaching us. 
for all of your provision and protection. We love you, Father. We truly do. And I speak for the family when I say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. The horn then. Going He's back. back. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hey, hey. Ah. Our days deserve David. 